Hey guys, good morning. This is Daryl from Central Wisconsin Power Sports in Weston, Wisconsin. Coming to you today to talk to you about the Intimidator Classic EV UTV. It's an electric vehicle and Intimidator makes several vehicles. Today we're going to talk about their Classic Series Electric. This has got a 48 volt inline brushless AC motor in it that runs off uh, 8 6 volt batteries. So this is totally fume free. It's great for industrial, it's great for farm applications, and this one, as you can see when we go through it, is set up as the ultimate hunting vehicle. So let's take a look at the plastics. These plastics are colored all the way through, so if you scratch it, you don't lose your color, you can buff it out. Even on the camel, it's colored all the way through. They mold their own plastics. This company is in Batesville, Arkansas, and they do American steel, American labor, this is all built here. So. It's a good U.S. machine. This is one of the heaviest machines on the, on the market. It has the heaviest frame in its class. It has a inch and a quarter steel square tube frame on all the extendable parts. The main frame through the middle is an inch and a half by three inches tall. So you have a really heavy solid frame. They stand behind it with a five year warranty. No one else does that. Everybody else gives you a year bumper to bumper and that's it. This company will give you five years on the frame, a year bumper to bumper, and based on the engine, with a Kohler engine, you get a three year, so they stand behind their engines better. This is an electric, so you get a one year warranty on the electric. Let's start in the front. We have a 27 inch tire on this model because this is the XD4 package, which is an upgrade package. You get a Journey tire, a 27 inch tire on a 14 inch aluminum rim. This tire is good in all conditions. It's great on rocks. It's great in the mud, it's great going down the road, it's got enough through the middle that it doesn't make lots of road noise. If we look at the A-frame in the front, you have an inch and a quarter A-frame. That's as big as they go in the industry, bigger bushings than anybody else has. On this particular model, we have added an aluminum CD joint protector. They come with poly, but we've added this aluminum to give you a little bit more protection, because he knows he's gonna be out in the woods. If you look at the output shaft, that's as big as everybody else's drive shafts in the industry. We'll show you the drive shaft later. The drive shaft is much bigger than the industry, but this is the same size as everybody else's drive shaft. That's a heavier output shaft than you get on anybody else. It's an inch and three quarter tubular bumper that comes standard whether you get the base package or the XD4. But on the XD4 package, you also get a two inch front receiver. And that is mounted right to the frame, well mounted so you can actually pull with it really good. Personally, I push trailers into my barn with mine. It's a great way to, if you don't back real well, you can push it up into your sheds with it on the front. If we look at um, the side view here, the units normally come with a net door. We've added the half doors that are aluminum from Bad Boy Accessories, which is another Intimidator company. They are well built and they're solid. A lot more protection. So it's much easier to get in and out. You don't have to mess with the nets. You'll notice this little plug-in port. That's where you plug in your regular 110 volt cord to charge your batteries. On this model, if we were right here on the side, you can see that we've added a Nerf bar. That's not standard equipment. This protects your vehicle when you're out in the woods. It'll keep you from bouncing off the trees with your machine. Gives you much more protection for your body keeps the machine looking nice for a lot longer. And you can really see uh, this machine is built quite well. If we come around to the back, you automatically get a two inch receiver on all of them. It's a much heavier receiver than you see on a lot of models. It's not just bolted on, it's a welded in unit. Very solid, you can see the heavy frame. You can see again the heavy A-arms. Um, big suspension on this. And when we look up, uh, can't hardly see the differential from here, but the differential is actually a bigger differential than you get in the industry. So it's very big, it's very robust, it works very well. On these wheels, there's a 10 inch disc brake. It's an automotive disc brake. It's got a twin plunger caliper on it. So it's an actual automotive style brake. It has a master cylinder. It doesn't have an electric braking system on it. It has an actual automotive master cylinder. So you get much better stoppability with this unit. This bed here can handle 700 pounds. Inside, you can put 500 pounds worth of P3 
people. So you got a 1,200 pound weight capacity on the machine. You get a 1,500 pound towing capacity with this machine. Being we're in the back, you can look at what's on here. These models come bare with no windows, roofs. They're all adders and you pick what you want. This one has something called a dust protector back window. It's got a Lexon panel in the center, but it has poly around the outside. If you know you're going to be in the woods bouncing off trees, this is a little bit nicer option than just a plain Lexon because you won't break it when you hit the side. We've added the aluminum roof on this model. They have an option of a plastic or an aluminum roof. Like I say, this gentleman knows he's going to be in the woods, so he put the aluminum roof on. It does hold up better to going through the woods and getting bounced around. And on top, we have added a cargo rack. This is another bad dog accessory. It's a very nice option. You can put a lot of gear in there. If you're going on a long ride somewhere, you can keep your bed clear. He's going to put his gear up there so he has room in his bed for all of his deer he plans on getting. We've added a 30 inch LED light. Um, this has two options to it. Road travel, it's going to come on, it'll be bright. It's going to be white for road travel. And when you get to the woods, you turn on the reds. The deer don't recognize red light, so it gets you through the woods without the deer seeing you coming. And they won't hear you coming on this model because it is quiet. Being I have the key on, maybe we'll sneak around and take a look inside at the screen. You get a four inch LCD screen. It gives you all of your features. It tells you what gear you're in in the upper left corner. If it was a fuel model, it would tell you how much gas you have left or diesel. This one will tell you how many volts you have left. It tells you your speed, um, how many miles you've driven, and also when you go through the menu, you can go through and check on your uh, maintenance schedules. It'll tell you all that. When you have a maintenance issue popping up, it'll show up on that screen. It gives you all of your information. We have headlights. We have an actual true diff lock on this one as well as four wheel drive. So four wheel drive, you can shift on the fly. The diff lock, you have to come to a complete stop. But when you put it in diff lock, you have true diff lock on this model. And as the XD4 package, one other option you get is an electric bed dump. So this one, you don't have to get out and manhandle the bed. You just push the button, it goes up. Push the button, it comes down. Even fully loaded, it'll dump it. And we also have a winch controller in here. And we have our LED light controllers for the lights we've put in as extras. This unit also has a four-gun gun rack, which is an option. That comes from Bad Dog Accessories as well. Part of the Intimidator team. And I'm going to pop the seat out, and we're going to take a look at the motor that's in here. And I do say motor instead of engine because it is an electric motor. A 48 volt brushless inline AC motor. You can see all the battery packs. And these batteries are interstate batteries, so they're easy to come by if something would ever happen. Most of your local interstate dealers actually stock these. So it's not an odd battery, it's not a specialty battery, it's just a really good deep cycle battery that's been around for a long time. They built it off a platform that you can go ahead and get parts for easily. This unit, uh, like I say, it's all electric. It works well for industrial settings. If you're in an industrial setting or a hospital setting or something like that, you can drive it into the building, not have to worry about exhaust fumes, and you can get right to where you're going with your equipment. Farmers like it because they can go through their calf buildings, their replacement housing units. They're quiet, they don't stir up the animals, and once again, they don't have the fumes. If you need to talk to somebody that you're working with, you don't have the noise of the engine to talk over. So it's a really good unit that way. And as you can see, this one was built totally as a hunting package. So this one is quiet going through the woods. Hunters love that. We do have one more feature on this unit that we put on. It's this deer loader in the back. It's a custom build that we do right here in house. And it has a winch on the top to pull the animals up into the bed. I put a gun rack on the back. We have it turned on this model so it works for crossbows. We can set it up any way you want. There's, it's just completely customizable. It has spotlights on the back to help you load at night. We do have a spare tire with this one. That's always an option. If you're going riding out west or someplace, it's always good to have a spare. And when your tires are a different size front to back, we recommend getting the front tire because it'll fit on both locations with no rubbing back tires can rub in the front, so we always recommend the front tire. You'll notice this one sits up high. We also have a two inch lift on this model. So it gets you up off the ground. Normally you have a 10 inch 
uh, adjustment for your, your shock travel on this unit. Now with a two inch lift, you're gonna get 12. Normally there's 12 inches of frame clearance. Now you'll have 14. So you'll be more able to go through the woods, less likely to get hung up on something. So, we might have missed something, but I think we covered quite a bit today. This is a good machine. They come in 750cc gas models. They also come in 1000cc diesel models on this particular body style. Intimidator also has a GC1K body style, which comes with a 1000cc gas engine. A little more sporty model, and it has a little different body to it. You can see what we're talking about right here at Central Wisconsin Power Sports in Western Wisconsin. Phone number here is 715-574, oh excuse me, 715-355-0777. You can always call me on my cell phone, 715-574-3616. If you have questions, I'd be happy to talk to you about these machines any day of the week. This is a great machine, I really love them. I have one myself, and uh, come down and see what we're talking about here at Central Wisconsin Power Sports.